so much. <laughs> amazing goddesses into all of you to witness to experience so thank you for being here yeah <sighs> so I wanted to jump out a little bit really quick today and talk to you about the three-day magic ritual that's coming up so full moon is on Sunday February 9th between the 8th and the 9th and um, this is um, a beginning and for three days around the full moon I invite you to create your own magic ritual so you can choose to create a video or go live in this Facebook group and show us your magic um, you can show us your altar you can mm -hmm. sing you can dance you can show us your art um, you can show us your vision dream board or a painting or um, play any kind of healing instruments or any kind of instruments anything that's creative that's artsy and crafty like like the beautiful creative craft <laughs> creative craft stuff that lights you up yeah so for three days and um, hashtag magic ritual and tag two or three sisters um, if you don't know anybody in the group, uh, usually if you just do ABC, you can always just pick someone randomly to tag and um, engage in that way. And um, I've noticed personally when I do this work for myself, this is a personal dedication, a personal practice, even though I'm offering it out to you, to all of us, it's, it's definitely a personal progress, personal practice. Because we do set an intention. I am going to set an intention for this three-day magic ritual. And the ritual is going to be created around my intention. And it's going to support my intention. And each ritual every day is just going to show up. Um, we just trust what it is. It could be simply sitting down and taking two breaths and just honoring myself and my intention with gratitude with self-love taking a bath could be a, a magic ritual mm -hmm. and putting some bath salts or flowers in and candles and just having that a long time mm -hmm. um, yeah or dancing or singing um, I'm going to sing today can we're going to sing and you're going to share yes okay right now <laughs> yeah when she says that what remind um, memory come up I used to um, lead a mastermind group and we would have these buddy buddy groups like three people and every morning we'd get on five days a week we'd get on a call together in the morning and it was only supposed to be 10 minutes and we'd do our declarations and we'd I personally would make it try to do it really big and create with words and the energy and I would go out on my roof and I lived in a farming area and um, one of my friends was on the call she lived like a mile from me but it, so I would try to get her I'm like go outside see if you can hear me because <laughs> I would yell that loud and I rem and another friend was uh, in Rexburg, Idaho. But we'd be on the phone, and I'd be yelling, "I am a joyful, royal, courageous daughter of love. My light invites others to healing." And it was just like maybe like a, maybe like ten sentences, but I would yell it in the morning outside on my roof. That's amazing. <laughs> it's part of my ritual. And and then sometimes my friend would be driving by, I'm like, "Pull over! You gotta hear me! You can hear me!" And I'd like yell it really loud. And, like try to just expand the belief in myself that I am a joyful, courageous, royal daughter of love. My light and love um, invites others to healing. And um, that's what I could remember right now, it's so several years back, but I need to share that. That's one of the Mormon rituals I did with, with this buddy call every for five days a week. It's amazing. So, so. It's so creative. Yeah, even if you come and share a story of something that's expanded you at some point, mm -hmm. that's amazing. I don't know if I'd yell it in the city, but maybe in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I got roommates, though. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, anyway, we invite you to come and participate. Are you going to come show up? Yeah, I will come for three for three days and do something. Yeah, for three days, three that's days. all. And it expands you, and it heals you, and it 
get to be seen. And you become that role model for yourself, like just getting through any fears and gathering that courageous heart. And I like that it's safe space with sisters. Definitely. So we're going to chant Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. So chant with us or just listen. magical gift to one last magical ritual participant. So I encourage you to do this for yourself, for your intention, to share your gift into the world. It needs to reach your heart and come from the heart to reach out into the world. tuning in. Happy full moon. Mm -hmm. Have a magical time. Blessings.